Speaking of the Biden administration, they've had a bit of an embarrassment this week in their attempts to hire people from all walks of life, including people who are non-binary. They found out the hard way, deep background checks and making sure these are people of character and not just checking a diversity box might be important. I give you a senior energy department official um, by the name of Sam Brinton. Now, Sam Brinton, again, goes by non-binary, says Sam is non-binary. And um, Sam was hailed as one of the government's first ever non-binary officials. Okay, this is Sam. Don't know what's going on here with Sam, but that's Sam. Sam decided in between doing stuff for the Department of Energy and this very important job called the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Spent Fuel and Waste Disposition, Sam is now on leave from the Department of Energy. Why? Because you're not going to believe this. This is like unbelievable <laughs> stuff. Sam, you know, and you know, I'm like, I can't really talk about airport baggage yet without it being triggered because of my oh, yeah, experience. Right. I remember that. <laughs> but this is a story about baggage at the airport. Sam, according to the criminal complaint that's been filed against Sam on October 26th in Minnesota State Court, um, showed up at the airport and allegedly took a Vera Bradley suitcase worth $2,325 from the luggage carousel. Now, you might think maybe Sam has been wrongly accused. Who who hasn't mistaken a bag here or there or for a moment thought that this one was theirs and it turns out it wasn't? Maybe Sam is being railroaded. Well, let's, let's read on. After the suitcase's owner alerted police, officers doing their due diligence reviewed video surveillance of the carousel and identified Brinton taking the luggage. All right, well, once again, bags look alike. What is it like? The, you got the one black bag, looks just like the other black bag. It's wheelie, who knows? Uh, so, so far, I'm open-minded to Sam's innocence. Then it comes. Uh, they identified Brinton taking the luggage before Sam removed its tag. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that identified the owner. Then, okay, well, maybe Sam thought um, the ba- the tag is falling off. It's annoying me. I'm going to get rid of it here. I'm going to give Sam the benefit of the doubt. Law enforcement observed Brinton using the luggage during at least two other trips to Washington, D.C. because you see Sam did not then take the bag home and <laughs> innocently realize this is not my shit. <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam was, was luggage shopping. Camera. Yeah. Totally. And then they finally called Sam, on October 9th, cops did, and uh, Sam denied stealing anything and said, if I had taken the wrong bag, I am happy to return it, but I don't have any clothes for another individual. That was my clothes when I opened the bag. Mm, that was my okay. clothes. That was my clothes. That was my clothes. And Again, full, I was full listening of to the English language yeah. from the, news the about the news. Nobel Prize. And I remember opening up the bag and seeing my own. Two hours after that phone call, Sam called the officer back and apologize for not being completely honest. But then Sam said, it was a mistake. And I was just tired when I took the wrong bag at the carousel. Um, Then it turns out that uh, defendant stated, defendant left the clothes from the bag inside the drawers of the hotel room, blah, 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 has been charged with felony theft. Can you believe? (laughs) What kind of... Let's start with the fact that this person is a senior government official. Yeah, the government yes. is way too big. <laughs> this is this is perfect evidence that the government is just way, way too big. When Yul Brenner and Lipstick can come on and steal somebody's <laughs> luggage from an the airport audience, and then Sam all of a sudden is no in hair. charge of like nuclear. Did you just do the Yul oh. Brenner? And- <laughs> I, I, it's what it looked like to me. <laughs> Holmes is pulling his hat down. Well, uh, th- that notwithstanding, uh, look, I think I think at some level this is part of the problem that we see occurring time and time again with the progressive left when identity is more important than things like integrity or things like actual subject matter expertise and yeah. or, or even your- subject verb agreement <laughs> or, or right. verb agreement, yeah, right. which is also a challenge at times. But I I, I think like this particular situation is just so bizarre that it's hard to like totally wrap my I actually to be honest but, but me, not I'm a still trying to get over Yule Brenner and lipstick. I it's, it's not, it's not a one-off. Listen to this. Listen to this. Jamie Lee Henry 
was the Army's, celebrated as the Army's first transgender officer. Um, and Jamie Lee Henry was just indicted by a federal grand jury. Wait for it. What did Jamie Lee, this Army doctor, celebrated for being the first transgender officer allegedly do, according to the grand jury? Oh, it's just like uh, just, they sold secrets to the Russians. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe we should Less. spend some more time worrying about qualifications, performance on the job, ethics, basic fundamentals before we just run to, let's celebrate the diversity of hiring this groundbreaking candidate. All right, I got to tell you about Kamakoto knives. These knives are made with high quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. They come in a beautiful, heavy-duty ash wood box, and it makes sure that the knife is stored safely. It also makes Kamakoto a great gift because of the wooden box the knives are presented in. The whole thing is lovely. And who doesn't want great knives, right? How many times you're like, this doesn't work. I don't like this one. But like, even at my level of cooking, this is important to have. Because of their single bevel edge, Kamakoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge that you just cannot get with other knives. They can cut through your ribeye like butter. You can maintain the edge of your blades with one of Kamakoto's sharpening whetstones. Kamakoto knives are used by several chefs working at Michelin star restaurant restaurants. Kamakoto's running a massive Black Friday st sale still right now. It's still going. And they're offering my viewers an extra $50 off any purchase with discount code M-E-G-Y-N. Go to kamakoto.com slash Megan. That's K-A-M. I K O T O K A M I K O T O dot com slash Megan now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.